Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But we put our faith and our trust in the living God. I want to thank you because you are God and you can never fail. A God that is constant. A God that is unchanging. A God that we can reach out by faith and touch him every day, every moment. By faith we can touch you. We might not be able to see him physically, but thank God by faith we can see him. We can see what he's doing and we know he's a God of might and power. We thank you that we are gathered in your sanctuary today, the last Sunday. Sheer miracle why we are here. Many of us, we've gotten away from terrible accidents. For some of us who were sick, but thank God we recovered because God healed us. For some of us, we're going, we have gone through some traumatic situation. For some of us, our testimonies, they, they can go for a long time because we have encountered so many things. But through it all, God has come through. And we can say God has been a faithful God. We thank you that we are gathered here today on this last Sunday to celebrate your goodness. Celebrate your love. Celebrate your mercy. Oh God, we are glad that as the, the children of Israel, Moses and Joshua would have said to them, look back and see what God has done for you. Oh, God, we can look back over the year and we say, God has been good. God has been good. God has been faithful. God has been great. You have led us in paths that we, we could not even fathom where you're leading us. But God has been good. And we can say, hitherto hath the Lord helped us. And that is why we are here today. And we can celebrate. And we can praise your name. And we can honor your name because there's no God like our God today. Lord, we love you. We praise you today. We bow down and we honor you and we recognize that you're an awesome God, a God who is omnipotent. All power belongs to you and that is why we are trusting you today. I pray that you'll bless us as a congregation and Lord, we want to always show our great appreciation to Almighty God for all that he has done for us. Oh God, thank you for saving us. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you for, for providing for us. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you, oh God, for watching over us as a people, as a church, as a nation. Lord, so many wonderful things uh, we have heard even from even the, the, the custom department. They have collected more money Oh, God, this year than in, in the history of this nation. And it says that God has been providing. God has been faithful. God has been good. And, Lord, all we can say is the goodness of God. You have been good to us as a church. You have been good to us as a people. Lord, you have blessed us in so many ways. And all we can say, thanks, thanks, thanks. God, thank you today. Because you have been good. I pray you'll continue to bless your people. May we not be ungrateful. But may we always recognize that you're an awesome God. And even when we didn't deserve your goodness, you have showered them even on us this morning. Continue to bless your people. Encourage every heart. Remember those who might be heavy in heart. Because they have lost their loved ones. You know them by name. We pray for them today. We take time even to pray for Pastor and Sister De Flute in St. Croix. And we pray for the family. And even the sister. Oh God that I've known for a while. Even as I would visit there. Oh God she has passed away. And Lord oh God it's a tough moment for the family. But I pray that you'll cheer them up. And help them to know tears are a language. God understands. And God will come through for them. So be close to them today. We pray for our secretaries, our, our God Father. That, oh God, we pray you'll touch him even now. We know you're a God of miracle. And Lord, you can show for it yourself. And even as she has asked for prayer, I pray in Jesus' name that you'll visit him in the hospital. Whatever hospital in the United States he might be at this time, I pray in Jesus' name that God, you'll visit him and help him to know we are praying for him. 
God answers prayer and our God can come through in the darkest of time. Lord, continue to pour yourself upon us. We need you as never before. Then we want to thank you, Lord, for watching over our families. Because, oh God, if you have not been doing it, we don't know what we would have done. We send our children to school. You have been watching over them. We go to work. You have been doing it. Lord, you have been providing food on our table. So many wonderful things. And all we can say, thank you. We pray for those, oh God, online, even as they join us. One person from the United States said every Sunday, actually, Pastor Sharp, I, I, turn, I, I tune in and I listen and I worship with your congregation. And we pray you bless our sister even today. And the many others, oh God, who would worship with us and be a part even of our worship experience. We pray that you grant them a blessed new year even as we look forward we don't know what the future holds, but because we are optimists, we look forward and look to you, knowing that God will see us through. Thank you for touching our senior citizens. Thank you for them. We pray for them. Bless them. Encourage them today. Bless our young people. Bless husbands. Bless wives. Bless families. Encourage them. Those who are going under, Lord, lift them above the waters. Some might be discouraged. Many times people come to church discouraged. Sometimes they're going through a rough path. Help them never to give up. The God who keeps the sparrows, the God who supplies, the God who is an encourager, God will come through. We may not know how, we may not know when, but our God will come through for your people. Continue to bless us for the of this service and give us a great time as we continue to celebrate your goodness and your love today in Jesus' precious name. And the people of God say, Amen.